it is beyond crazy how many sets and things have dropped right now for the holiday season. I have picked up quite a few more. I have a video that I did before that I will make sure I link below for you on some of these holiday sets, but we're coming up on the Sephora VIB sale. So I wanted to show you these newest ones that I got and we'll find out whether or not they're worth the money. Hello, my friends. We're going to go over all of those sets and some of these limited edition, limited edition items. Before we do that, I do talk about the things I have on. So if you want to skip ahead, there's a timestamp right here where you can skip ahead to just the reviews of the kits. Okay. I am wearing a teal colored jersey knit. It's kind of a medium weight tunic length blouse that has three buttons on the side nice little detailing kind of ruches up there around that detailing and it's long sleeve that you can push up or wear down whichever you like of course it is off the shoulder as you see and i did wear my black bra underneath it because i was lazy and didn't want to put on my underwire strapless bra. and then for jewelry i kind of went unassuming with my earrings they're just a little stud halo earring and they're set in silver with crystal and then i also wore my silver chunky necklace that I like very much and everything else my fingernail polish my rings everything that you see today including any makeup that I'm wearing will be listed and linked below and I do have a linking system where a number will come up on the screen that corresponds to the product that I'm talking about at that moment you don't have to remember anything about the product you just remember the number that you liked and then go down into the description box you'll look for number three next to that will be the name of the product with the link and any color or anything like that and you'll be able to shop that way if you'd like to okay that's our introduction let's get into seeing all these sets because i have quite a few to show you today so the sephora vib sale is coming up really soon and these sets are the best way for you to get your value out of the sale because it really is only 20 percent off but when you look at this set together that they put then it might really be a good savings for you instead of just like sort of a good savings because lots of times you can shop on just the websites themselves and get a better deal, especially around Black Friday time. So I just wanted to show you the sets that I feel are a good deal. And then I will have another video coming up very soon that will be a video that's just the Sephora collection and I'll have a full face of makeup of that so that you can also look at all the Sephora collection things that I think are worth it. And then you can shop that way if you want to too. So watch for that video coming up very soon. Okay, so let's start out with the set that I was so excited to see and it's because I absolutely love the Kale Lee fragrances. This is Huda Beauty and her sister Monica Tons fragrances that they have developed and they are so yummy and lovely. I actually recently purchased the Burnt Cherry one and it is phenomenal. I'm actually wearing it today and it's still there and it just smells so, so good. Now in this set, the Vanilla 28 is in there and then this one is the Eden Juicy Apple and both of these are really good. The Vanilla is a very warm fragrance, very vanilla-y, but it does have some strong under notes of being very perfumey as well. These last for such a long time. I do spritz a little bit back here in my hair each day and I still have it at the end of the day in my hair. And anytime I hold my granddaughter and pass her back to her mom, her mom always goes, you smell like grandma. So that means to me that my perfume's doing its job and it's at least staying around for a while. And then you get the mini to try of the Eden Juicy Apple. This one has quickly become my favorite fragrance that she's done of all time. I absolutely love this. It's just, it really truly is like smelling a fresh harvest apple. And I just, I absolutely love this fragrance and I love this one that is the vanilla too. And you can layer these, any of her fragrances that you feel like you love, you can layer them to make your own fragrance. It's I just really, really am impressed by their fragrances and I loved that set. Now, now, for $36, this set came out as well and they're probably gonna all fall out because when I got them, they weren't in their little jackets anyway. And then when I went and tried to put them back after I'd taken them out, 
they were a mess. Okay, so what comes in here is you get a full size of the NARS Orgasm blush. You get a full size of the Tarte. This one is in Party. That is the blush there. And then you get a full size of the Melt blush as well, which is a cream blush. And this is in Sandy Cheeks. And then you get a trial size of the Iconic London. This is the Liquid um, Illuminator or Highlighter. And then you get a trial size of the Nude Stick. And I'll tell you what that is in just a second. I do feel like this is a pretty good value at that price now the orgasm it's all over the place i hate their names by the way not my idea of being very classy but it's there and it's never going away this blush is beautiful it has been a niconic blush forever it's a very beautiful peachy pink blush that you can build up it has a tiny shimmer or sheen in it that just makes your cheeks glow it's so very pretty and then party from tarte i would say that this is the neutral nude light blush so you can see that one right there it is matte on that one and then from melt makeup this one is the cream one it's a lot nicer than a lot of the creams i've seen lately now it feels like it would just go across your cheeks very easily this is a very peach blush almost on the side of being warm but i did wear this the other day and oh gosh i put on the wrong thing okay i messed that up sorry about that you guys okay so i did wear this the other day and it worked out just fine so that one is there let me touch up the tarts all right we'll pretend that melissa didn't completely screw that over okay the nude stick nudes all over face bronze color this one i I don't see a color on oh wait a minute sun kissed is the color on it so that is the color right there and actually it is just a deepened color of the melt one now this is a much thicker formula than the melt one and then lastly is this little uh, liquid illuminator from iconic i did wear this the other day this is so so pretty so i'm going to put it across here on the bottom so there they all are this is the highlighter right down here just very very pretty and i do feel like this is a good value at 39 dollars and if you got it for the 20% off, it'd even be better. So definitely one if you like a lot of blushes or you like highlights. Then I actually put this in a video just a little bit ago when I did my roundup of the year of the 45 mascaras that I had tried. But I do think that this is a great value and I wanted to talk to you about it again. For $29, you can get five separate little mini size trials of this clean beauty mascara and then inside you get a voucher and you can go in and redeem that voucher for a full size so normally these run anywhere from about 21 to 30 dollars so you can go in and, and redeem for a full size one get your money out of it but you're also getting all five of these and if you get the 20 percent off so you have a trial size of calorie of item beauty Ilia, Milk, and Say. And I misplaced the one from Milk. I don't know where it went, but there they all are right here. And I have thoroughly enjoyed using all of these. And then I actually went and picked up the full size of the Ilia for myself with my voucher. So I do think that this is a really good value and yeah, get to try out a bunch of mascaras. They have another set of oldies but goodies kind of. And I'm probably gonna be picking that one up during the sale myself. Another one of the sets that is so much fun is LYS has three different of their cream, cream blushes. And I will swatch those so you can see what they are. The first one is called Higher Standard. This one looks to me like it might be a berry. Yep, sure enough, it's a berry. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, if you have a deeper skin tone, that is just gonna be gorgeous on your skin. This one is, oh, okay, this this one is not called higher standard. They're all called higher standard, but this one is called Empower. And so that is that beautiful berry right there. This is the one that I have on today and it is kind of a peachy pink and it's called Unforgettable. So pretty, love that one as well. And then the last one in here is called Grateful. This one is kind of more along the lines of a rose, kind of a nudie rose color so those are all beautiful the texture on these are so good this is a great way for you to be able to try these if you haven't before and i have one of the full size absolutely love it stays on my cheeks all day long and i really think the lys is a really great brand and i'm glad that i get to try all of those colors from their set next is another cheek set this one is from sephora this is wishing you multi-use colors and what this one is is a stack and it just comes like this so the first one you get in here is just a light banana color and then the second one you get is kind of a rosy pink color there 
Um, that one has a tiny bit of a sheen in it. And then the last one that you get also has a sheen in it. This one is just kind of a pretty mauve color. You can also build these up to make them quite a bit more striking, but it's fun to have a stack like that that you can throw in your purse if you want to or take on vacation if you want to and just be really easy to tote around instead of a bunch of different plushes. If you didn't get to see my last video where I talked about the sets that I had before, I will make sure that I link that one because it does have some of the sets that I've already gone over. So this one came out very recently. This is from Urban Decay. This one is the Naked Minis. So you have like a bookend here and it's got three different little palettes in here and they're so cute. I'm really excited to be able to dive into these and try them. Really nice packaging on there. Just looks so pretty. This one is called Naked Sin and here they are all swatched for you. Beautiful formula. The formula that Urban Decay always has. Very nice formula easily blended and pretty colors. This one is more of a light nude one, I would say, but it does have a couple of deeper colors in there. If you do have deeper skin tone, you can deepen up your look. So very pretty on that one. The next one is called Naked Baked. And again, beautiful packaging on it. And here are the colors inside. Here are all the colors in the Naked Baked one. I feel like this one is a little bit warmer of a palette, and I also feel like it's a little bit deeper than that first one was. So this is really beautiful. In these, you're usually getting three metallics and three mattes. So really beautiful formula. Always Urban Decay delivers on their formula. And then the last one is called Naked Foxy. And there is the cover on that one. And then there are your swatches on that one. Now I really do like this one probably the best because it does have a little bit more of cool tones in it, but you're still getting enough warmth that you can warm up your look if you want to. And I do like that they go from very light to very dark so that you can mix this as you need to and get custom as you want to, but really fun to be able to get all three of these. You could split them up because they each come in their own individual boxes. You could split them up for gifts if you wanted to, or you could just put them all into the box that they came in. I'm not going to put them in their other boxes, the box that they came in, and then, you know, have them as one gift. Fenty, so I wasn't super impressed with a lot of their stuff, but I was impressed with their Glossy Posse for this year. Stuff just fell down on my vanity over there. I really love these colors. I like that she put all her different uh, gloss bomb formulas in here. She put the heat, she put the cream, and then she put her regular, just the one that has a little bit of reflect in it or the shimmer in it. The Naked Heat is kind of a just a nude color on that one, but it does have some color in it, which I like as well. It's called Fenty Glow Heat, I hope. That's what it's called. Now here is the cream and it has a bit of mauve rose in it. So pretty. Actually, it's just more ro rose than anything. This is gonna be a beautiful color if you wanna wear it with a liner or wear it on its own. And this one is called Cupcake. Actually have had Cupcake before and I love it. This is the one that surprised me and I love this. I've been wearing this so much since I got it. And I'm gonna show you this little compact from her in just a second, but I want to put this on a little bit more. This is so pretty. This has a berry tone base and then it has the reflex in it, and I am in love with that. It just is so pretty for the fall and the winter. Just beautiful, beautiful color. This one is called Fuchsia Flex. You get all three of them in there again, and I did think it was a fairly good value because one of these costs quite a bit. So you're getting all three full size. And then the next thing that I did pick up from her is her Cheeks Out, and this is a double cream blush, and it is in Peony, Droppa and Mally Boots. So I will swatch both of those for you. Beautiful colors on those. Um, a lot more vibrant in person than they look right there on in the pan. So very, very pretty. I love the packaging this time that she went with the purple. Of course, I'm gonna love that, but it's just really beautiful. They're on the top right there. And if you have never had any of her cream products, they are so good. They're just really, really awesome blushes that stick around for a long time and they have beautiful pigment to them. This one I just picked up yesterday, but I'm gonna put it in here anyway. This is uh, from Tarte. This is their C collection. And there's two palettes in here for $49. And I wanted to show you guys this because I adore the colors in here. And yes, it surely is purple palettes. Love the packaging on there. So pretty. 
Here is the purple palette right here. This one right here is the face palette and those are all cream products. So let me go ahead and swatch the palette for you first. I do not remember holiday releases being this good from Tarte in the past, but boy, they have bumped up their game. And there's one on QVC. Actually, I will put that right here on the screen that I have just been blown away by. So I'll put that those down below so you can see those two. And I'll put the one up on the screen that is three palettes of theirs that I thought was a really good deal too. So Tarte has surprised me a lot this year. All right, let me go ahead and swatch the cream palette for you. So here is the bronzer right here. Here is the blush and here is the highlighter. The highlighter is a little bit light. Let me double swatch that one, but you can definitely tell how beautiful they are and just kind of a medium tone that you can build or you can really buff out if you want a lighter look too. I do have several eyeshadow palettes that I was gonna swatch for you, but I think I'm gonna do that in a dedicated video because this video has gotten a little bit long and there are several of them. So I'll try to do that and get it up before the sale drops so that you can see them. Let me just give you a preview of what I want to swatch for you. The new Naked palette from Urban Decay, the Huda Beauty Empowered palette, the new Pat McGrath Celestial one she does every year, and then these two, that are so pretty from Sephora collection that I am just so surprised by. So if you want any of those, I will link them below today, but I'm not gonna swatch them until another video. I hope that you did enjoy this video today. Thank you so much for spending a bit of your time with me. What are you planning on picking up or have you picked up any of these sets so far? Let me know down in the comment section because I'd like to hear your thoughts on anything like that. Hope that you're all doing very well. Please come back around very soon. Love you to pieces. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye friends.